welcome to another Smurf P video and this is the final part of my X-Men Omnibus collection so let's check it out okay next up is new X-Men by Grant Maris Morrison and this was um, a very diverse series it, you, you either love it or you hate it I absolutely love this era and it's quite a, a big big book with um, really clearly into the leathers there are the comics issues on the back or the covers so to speak and it collected new x-men 140 to 154 and new x-men 2001 beneath the cover there's um the silver this time and the back black background one of the highlights for me was the Who Done It story. Um, so basically, Emma Frost is shot with a diamond uh, bullet, which pretty much shatters her. There's Jean Grey bringing her back, and it's um, sorry, spoiler if you never read this, it says me. And there's a hole you get Sage and Bishop coming in playing detective, which I thought was pretty, pretty damn awesome. I wish they hope, I hope they do an extreme X Men omnibus at some point because I would really enjoy that. Okay, next up, the tape, I'm pretty sure it's Cable and Deadpool, but it says Deadpool and Cable on the front. And this, uh, you know, this was, uh, uh, I really enjoyed this from start to finish. You you can't get no better than this omnibus. Um, although I suspect it's probably very, very hard to find now. This came out back in 2014. I remember because it was released when I was on holiday and my pre-order was coming when I was away. So this collects Cable and Deadpool, see 1 to 50, Deadpool, GL, Summer Fun, Spectacular, Material from Deadpool 2012-27. So pretty, pretty nice to have kind of like a full run in this this um, this whole omnibus. And that's why we get omnibuses for the whole work on the front is pretty, pretty, pretty damn beautiful. There we go. I really dig that. And dig that too. It's pretty much the same as the dust cover, but it looks awesome. Highlight for me, Cable becoming a baby. There were so many crazy things that happened in the series. Like they got stuck together, they teleported together. There's lots of crazy things. So definitely, definitely one to Okay, remember. next up is the War of Kings omnibus. And the cover is absolutely amazing. As you can imagine, it was a war between the Shi'ar and the Kree. And had was heavily involved with um, the X-Men team that were out there. And for me, this is kind of mainly an X-Men. It has Uncanny X-Men 475 to 486. X-Ma, X-Ma, X-Men, Emperor Vulcan 1 to 5. Secret Invasions, War of Kings, X-Men, King Breaker 1 to 4. War of Kings, Dark Hawk 1 and 2. War of Kings, Warriors 1 and 2. War of Kings, 1 to 6. War of Kings, Ascension 1 to 4. War of Kings, Savage, World of Scar, Nova 23 to 28, Guardians of the Galaxy, 13 to 19, War of Kings Who Will Rule, and Marvel Spotlight, War of Kings and Material from X-Men, Divided We Stand. This was a massive, massive volume. It was brilliant. And underneath the dust cover, this is what you get. More um, war pictures. A double spread, which was pretty nice. Uh, once again, many highlights in this story. One of them being Rachel Gray kicking Guardian's butt. And also the brotherly rival within this book between Havoc and Vulcan was um, spot on. I really like this. Um, Vulcan is Havoc's little brother. And he kind of comes out as a murderous um, worm, so to speak. But um, yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, so Wolverine and the X-Men. So after Wolverine and Cyclops um, and Schism, the Wolverine decided to become a headmaster, basically, in a nutshell. So we get a whole new cast of characters. And it is pretty, pretty... Um, it is a really fun um, read. With lots of um, new challenges, I would say. And it covers Wolverine and X-Men 1 to 35, 38 and 42, and Annual 1. That's pretty cool. An homage to Days of Future Past. Underneath the dust cover, you get this um, this kind of scene, which is um, after the first arc, and Grakoff is part of the team. I think it's the first arc. I could be wrong. Thinking about it, I'm probably wrong. So, but it's really nice. I like art like this underneath on the underneath the dust cover. So, if you do lose the dust cover or it gets ruined, 
you've got um this kind of second kind of um uh what's it called film for film to use i like the for me in the series um wolverine in a wheelchair like professor xavier i thought it was i thought it was pretty darn cool okay next up uncanny avengers omnibus so uh after the avengers versus x-men they decided to do this kind of crossover team and they still kind of got it as well and basically it is the whole run 1 to 25 8 AU I don't know what that means and annual one it's nice on the back this was probably the most interesting relationship of them all I found okay so underneath we have the uncanny Avengers team and there's a sign and there's a red skull um, who had some influence in this book but it wasn't overall the villain of the piece until you get access which is pretty much straight after this series okay moment for me was alex not getting out of this ride for free and pretty much getting half his face burn off i thought that was um pretty pretty darn epic there we go there's a closer look at his face okay next up we have x-men legacy legion so he finally got his own book and i love the cover art here there's a side, there's the great big guy off the bad guy, and it pretty much collects X-Men Legacy 1, 2, 24, the whole run, which is underneath cool. the dust cover, we have a nice bit of art there, and the side is still the black, as on the dust cover, and you get the same picture, just without the writing, etc. Which the highlights for me is these two. I love these two together, Blindfold and um, David. Their relationship was so interesting. It was, um, you know, it was a really fun ride. And I hope one day we see more of that. Okay, here's the X-Force Omnibus. And the artwork is very, very nice. Very cool, very iconic. There's the side. There's Cable. And then these are the issues inside. Which I pretty pretty damn like. It collects New Mutants 98 to 100, New Mutants Annual 7, X-Men Annual 15, X-Factor Annual 6, X-Force 1 to 15, Spider-Man 16, Cable Blood and Metal 1 to 2, and Material from New Warriors Annual 1 and X-Force Annual 1992. And then underneath the dust cover we have this very crisp um, Sigma. It looks really, really nice like that. And then nothing on the back. Uh, no real highlight for me because I haven't actually got around to reading this one. But um, pretty much this, um, I found this centerpiece and I thought it was quite nice. Sauron versus Feral, which was pretty cool. If I remember correctly, she died at some point. Um, I don't know how. Be interesting to find out when so I do. So again, X-Force Volume 2, we got a Deadpool and X-Force Volume. Um, which um, is kind of good because kind of keeping those issues coming. And um, you, you know why that happened, because you had the Deadpool film, it was about him, and even though they had cable in, so they wanted to give you some stories with Deadpool and X-Force, but they were heavily tied in the early days, if I remember correctly. So there's the side, there's a nice picture of them together, and there's the back, so you've got pretty much all these issues. So it's spread between three, so Deadpool, X-Force, and, cable. and it collects X Force 19 to 31 in annual 2, Cable 1 to 8, Deadpool to Circle Chase 1 to 4, Deadpool 1 to 4, New Warriors 31, and No Man, No Mad. Okay, underneath we have Deadpool and Siren. And you got some nice little background art. Then you got the side, very crisp again, just like X Force Volume 1. And then you got Cable and his team there. Cannonball, Boom Boom, and Sunspot. Okay, so highlight for me, and this is probably the only thing I've read from this volume, was um, the Deadpool story around um, Juggernaut and Black Tom. And it had Siren in it, and it was pretty, pretty funny. You know, you can tell from the scene that, you know, <laughs> Juggernaut on fire is pretty, pretty funny. And you can imagine that being something that would happen in the Deadpool book. So uh, this is how it usually sits on my bookshelf. What I like to call my cable X Force shelf, and then this is where the others lie, and 
I can only see it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you for joining me on this three part um, episodes. I was going to do it all together, but it was looking like more like a, a whole, what, 30, 30 to 40 minutes. So um, I'm glad that I separated it out. Um, I may put it all together and just shove it all on there for somebody who's got that kind of endurance to listen to me. But um, other than that, I, I hope you enjoyed the three parts. Um, let me know what omnibuses you have, what ones you'll be willing to get, etc. What you enjoy out of these omnibuses. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Smurd P. Embrace the geekiness. Have a good night. Take care. Goodbye. No place